Hello everybody and welcome back to another demo of NoSQL Map. Uh, NoSQL Map, if you've watched the previous demos, is an automated tool for exploiting MongoDB. In future releases there will be some other platforms added like Couch, Cassandra, uh, but we're, right now the focus is on Mongo in the tool and uh, I haven't mentioned this before but I should mention most of this work in this tool is inspired by a talk given by Ming Chao at DEF CON 21 called Abusing NoSQL Databases. Ming's on Twitter and uh, does some excellent work in the community. Look him up if you have a chance. Great guy to work with. So let's go ahead and get started. Give you a little bit of an idea of my test environment. This is my attacker machine at 192.168.87.130. And I have a victim machine with the default configuration of Mongo on it. The only thing I've done is to add a database to it, which you might be interested in looking at. And it, this machine is 192.168.87.141. So let's go ahead and start up NoSQL map set our options first and we'll set our target to 192.168.87.141 okay if you have watched previous demos previously we set these options but today obviously since we're not working with a web application we don't need those options we're going to attack the MongoDB management ports directly why can we attack them I should just mention that is that by default MongoDB has no user authentication and no permissions so with no password, everyone has access to everything by default in MongoDB. So let's go ahead and set our local IP, 192.168.87.130. And I should mention too, to do this attack, we need a local default instance of Mongo installed on our machine, which I've set up already. Okay. And we'll set a shell listener port. We're not going to successfully get a reverse shell from the machine in this demo. My version of MongoDB is too new for that. But there is a relatively reliable Metasploit exploit, which will give you a reverse shell from the machine for Mongo previous to versions 2.2.4, I believe it is. And I'll show you how that works. But we can go ahead and set that here. Okay. So let's go back to the main menu. All right. This time, instead of using the web app attacks, we'll use the DB access attacks. And as you can see, we've got some information. We found that port 27017 is open, responsive. That is the default management port for MongoDB. We've also found a web management console at 28017 we can connect to. We get a little bit of info on the server and what's running on it and, and the Mongo instance that's running on it. And we also get a list of user databases. So let's go ahead and grab and steal a database. And I'm getting ahead of myself. But yes, let's steal a database. All right. Database steal, let's use app user data. That one sounds interesting. It might have some juicy information in it. Let's take that. Database clone, copy another, no. And we're done. Now you see it's asking me, try to get a shell. Again, this this works against Mongo 2.2.4 below. Um, I have Mongo 2.2.6 running actually, so it's not going to work, but this is there's no rocket science here. It's fairly simple. All we're doing is using MSF CLI to take the options we set in, in NoSQL map and then pass them to Metasploit to try to launch the exploit. So you see the exploit actually starts up. We don't get anything back because my version is too new and we're done. So let's see what happened. Let's go into our local instance of Mongo. Now let's show DBs. You see we've now got a database over here called app user data underscore stolen. So I always try to tag my databases with underscore stolen because if we want to steal a local or test or something that comes by default in MongoDB from a remote instance, that way it has a unique name and we don't run into any errors or issues try to copy in a, a duplicate name into MongoDB. So let's use that database. Okay, we switch to the database. Now let's do show collections. And you see we actually have a collection called users in the database. And let's do a db.users.find. And you see we have all the user data. Again, this is all working from our Mongo database instance. We were able to steal all the data, taking advantage of the default configuration in MongoDB, simply with two keystrokes. Um, it's a simple exploit, just using built-in native functionality of Mongo, but uh, incredibly powerful and effective. And if you go to Shodan, there's a lot of port 27017 open to the internet. So definitely something to look for. Not that I'm suggesting anybody try it. 
So thank you for watching this demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, the site for MongoDB, or uh, not MongoDB, NoSQL Map, is www.nosqlmap.net. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to reach me there. Thanks for watching.